Hello, my name is Paul Monson. I'm going to introduce a partial observable Markov decision process approach to the task of separate clothes uh, by Robert. The motivation behind the work is uh, providing a reliable handling of clothing through low cost perception and action to suppress the hard labor manipulation of the formable objects and uh, at textile and food industries. The planning is based on a battery of unreliable actions and imperfect partial perceptions um, from 12 manipulation scripts and color and depth treatment of the image. The setup is a Kinect camera and a whole arm manipulator robot and the workplace has been supported with by uh, two manipulation errors and the destination box so the robot has to remove each piece of clothing one by one uh, and put it into the destination box. This is actually a failure to complete the task to remove several pieces of clothing at the same time. So the perception and manipulation provided to the planning will be a simple color histogram that estimates the number of object objects at each area and a repertoire of 11 grasping actions that combine finger configurations, uh, different algorithms to obtain the best grasping point that uh, have uh, wrinkleness analysis and height analysis. And then in addition, uh, a modification of this grasping point, depending if we want a more subtle or a more rough uh, grasping. The state description, uh, it's also kept low dimensional so it can be treatable for the partial observable Markov decision process uh, solvers and it's actually only the number of objects at each side of the table. Uh, to, to start with the beginning the robot doesn't know how many objects are there uh, on the right hand side of the table and it will perform then actions and, and pr then obtain perceptions to finally discover uh, with certain uh, a 95 percent over 95 percent certainty that it has isolated one piece of clothing and then remove it so the task is to remove each object uh, one by one when the certainty is uh, enough as to reduce the chances of failing to complete the task the, the partial or Markov decision process are an extension of Markov decision processes uh, in order to handle partially observable environments. The main difference is then we have a set of observations besides the set of, s of states and a set of actions. Um, sym symmetrically we have um, an observation matrix that translates from state and action to observation. So we n have a model of the probability of perceiving things. And as, as we had a model of acting on the world and reaching uh, another state uh, as we did in, in MDP. Additionally, uh, as we've commented in the previous slide, we have a probability distribution among the states instead of uh, a starting state. Finally, the POMDP solvers will obtain the policy which is a mapping uh, on states and actions that will maximize the long-term reward based on the reward model that we are uh, fixing on the model which as we've said sets, uh, requires at least a 95% certainty of having isolated one piece of clothing then, so as we've commented, we need the POMDP T and O um, models and matrices, which are derived from experimental success tables. Um, success tables are just the relation between the number of objects taken or perceived and the number of objects present in the in the scene. As we can see, for example, when there were three objects, uh, one every ten trials on average the robot uh, grasped the three objects which didn't happen uh, when uh, when we had four objects these tables are then obtained for every action uh, through experimentation 
note that with this approach then the the algorithm the, the the planning that we're proposing is independent of the robot and the perception th system that we have provided a model uh, a success model of the perception a success model of the action we can then apply directly the approach so we could supply actually the method with any robot that uh, wants to deal with the formal objects or wants to separate uh, food or, or pieces of clothing. Additionally, the by design, the POMTP will provide us with an expected long-term reward, which is actually an evaluation of the action relevance uh, towards the task that we are running. Um, in the graph we can see a comparison between action 0 and action 8 and since the action 0 it's better in any case for the uh, reward the uh, action 8 we can then conclude that action 8 is irrelevant for the task in hand so using this method four actions were discarded that way we can specialize the actions that are more suitable and we can also ease the policy computation Finally, and during a POMDP execution, um, the, ac the algorithm will be run uh, obtaining the best action given a probability distribution among the states. So given a belief, we uh, combine it with the policy computed by the solver and then obtain the action that maximizes the long-term reward. After we perform the action, we will retrieve an observation which will allow the robot to update the probability distribution among the states. This will be done until th we've reached with uh, certain cer uh, with um, ninety five percent certainty that we've reached the the last state, which is the empty table. Now we will show you a video of a sample execution. Uh, we can see here the robot splitting the pieces of clothing having errors actually on perception we can see here for example that it has perceived three objects on the right hand side when there were actually uh, two of them also when the robot fails to grasp which uh, then doesn't change the state it is robust and it took since the, the perception uh, has some certainty the manipulation has some error encoded on the policy we can then adapt to these uh, errors since they are con um, considered by the policy and we can successfully complete the task minimizing the errors uh, as we've commented previously. So we can see that the information is actually accumulated through interaction. So we, we start with an uniform belief over the number of objects that we have on the right hand side and through actions we concentrate the probability of being at a certain state when we reach um, with uh, a greater probability uh, than 95% uh, that we have isolated one piece of clothing then we proceed, we proceed to, to the removal so action and interaction with the objects um, lets us complete, lets us overcome the limitations of action and perception the results uh, proved what we are saying that taking into account the, the uncertainty on perception uh, makes the planning more robust to these errors, these uncertainties. Um, compared to MDP which had a drop of 60% on the performance when we were starting with a complete occlusion. Um, in addition we can see that the average uh, number of objects required for removing the, the first object it's uh, four steps, four actions so we can ensure that we have we reach a 95% per percent certainty in less than, well, in an average of four steps which is quite good for removing each piece of clothing however, as we scale up to the objects uh, systematic errors that are likely to occur uh, per object when we have more objects, it is more likely to occur one of these errors. So it happens more often that we remove two pieces of clothing during the task. So uh, this is something that we will work in the future. As conclusions, then, we've seen that we can reduce uncertainty. We can s successfully complete the task through 
intelligent planning and interaction that we have a controlled risk assessment of uh, when which certainty has to be achieved by uh, by the planning that we've set to 95 percent but it can say it can be more uh, relaxed or more uh, strict on that matter and finally it's also a robot independent approach so it can be used um, in any robots in the future as future work since we've kept the low dimension of the of the model we can now add the formal features to um, reach the goal more quicker than uh, we've done it before since the model is quite simple however we have to improve the scalability and we expect also to to add online learning on the uh, obtention of both the model for transition observation and the uh, state model as well thank you very much this is partial observable Markov decision process approach to robotized closed separation conducted by Paul Monceau at the Institut de Robotica and Informatica Industrial. Thank you.